Many of the time it happens when we want to do our analysis, we just don't have suitable data to start with. When I say suitable data, that means the data as per our interest, right? So that we could start with when we do, uh, when we go into the Google, we usually get the data where we might not be interested or something like that, right? So don't worry here in this video, after watching this video, you will be in very well position where you can create or customize the data as per your own requirement and that to very simple in a very simple way and for this Python has a wonderful library which is called faker right so using this faker library we are going to create the dummy synthetic sample or fake data so to start with this what we need to do is first install this particular library which is you which is which can be done by doing this pip install faker oops just do this and this particular module will be installed because it is already installed in my system i'm not going to do that right so now after installing this the next thing which you're going to do is import that so to import that you're going to do this from faker import faker so what you should notice over here is this is main module and this is sub module. So main module start starts with small f and main mod sorry sub module starts with capital F, right? So this is how you can do the import. After importing this, I would also like to import pandas so that at the end I could put them all in a data frame. Import pandas as pd, then import numpy as np all right this is done now after having this all imported the next thing which i need to do is create an object for this particular module so which i would say fake dot faker now this module is this object is also created now let's just have a look what all are the items that we can utilize out of this particular object means what all are the columns that we can create what are the values that we can create using this so for that you can simply say fake dot let's say what all are the items that are available so you like you can see you can create fake addresses you can create fake email ids you can have cryptocurrencies you can have date time values right you can have you know host names images and many more right so you, there are hell lot of the things which you can do using this particular fake library okay here i'm just going to create the data for all these variables okay these are the variables for which i want to create the data here we will consider that someone we are someone who is working in a supermart in analytics department where we require the transactional data for each of the customer where uh, in the in the data we would be having total transaction amount by each of the customer and we would have customer name you know we would have their credit card number etc 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 so we will be having all this information their zip code and all right so let's just start with creating the date um, values right so first value which we need to create is transaction date time how can we create that so for that you just need to type the object name which is fake and over here you just say da and you get a list of these things right so if you want to have any kind of date time, you can just use this, the one which I have selected at the end. But here I want to have something between a range, right? So date between, here I can say date between dates and for that you need to provide the point when you want to start it from. So I want to start it from one year back and I want to have it till now. Let's just see if this works. Yeah, it just worked, right? You see we have the date over here all right so this is pretty simple right uh, let's just see if we have something else also okay so similarly you you might have something for time also let's just see if we have it over here date time between we must have date time between dates right so this is what we can 
here you will get the time stamp also you can same use the you can use the same fundamental minus one y that means i want to start from one year back and then i want to keep it till now right let's just see you see this kind of value we are getting if it is something which is not easy to understand you can just put that into the print, print statement and now you see you have it in a very much readable format next thing we need to populate the dummy names and that's also an interesting part of this particular library right so all that you need to do is this right so every time you hit enter you're gonna get a new name next thing which we require is card number how can you have that so for that you can say fake dot credit card number and here you go right so let me just scroll it down and we need to put this now every time you hit enter you're gonna get a different card number next thing we require customer zip now after that we require to have the transaction amount so for transaction amount i'm going to use numpy library so i would say for x in so the data frame which i'm going to create in that i want to have 10 sample records that's it not much so i'll be generating 10 records only so for x in range and over here i can say this and here i would say np dot random dot randint that is it now you just have it randint and over here i'm going to put the transaction amount in the range of 100 to 5000 if you want to have a look you can simply say print oops just say print now here you go here you have the transaction amount now this is done next thing which we require to do is here we just saw this was just one item how can we have multiple multiple values right because one value is not something which we which will help us so for that how what you can do is you can simply say for underscore in range like i said i'm going to have 10 records so this is what i can do now if i do so if i just say print then here is what we get we get 10 date time and that i'm going to use as transaction date time all right now because i already have an empty list i'm just going to put this into that okay so this is the date time variable and here i have this particular list and i would say append and now this is done next next thing which we require is customer name the last one is we have tran amount tran amount to let's just type tran amount dot append and it is done as well now we have all these lists created if you want to see the value in any of this list you can simply say let's say zip code right so you see here we got the list of 10 zip codes now we need to put them all in one data frame for that we would require to concatenate all this list right so here i'm just going to create a dummy data frame which we will say df and here i'm going to say pd dot data frame and inside that i would use a zip command and inside that i'm going to put the list of i'm going to put the name of all these lists separated by comma now next thing which we need to do is put the list of column names so same thing i'm going to use as the list name i'm going to use as column name if you want you can have it different and let's just have a look on the data all right we got the data which we were looking for now this is just showing five sample date points now you see over here you have 10 records now this is how you can create a dummy data next thing which let's say i want to have 100 records then again i'll have to go each in each of these things and i'll have to repeat this thing right so how can i automate this next after having this all created an automation part is going to be very simple all that we require to do is put them all together inside a function let's try to do that right so here what i'm going to do is i'll create def dummy data 
and inside that i will just start doing a copy paste of all these syntaxes which i just wrote all right thing here we require to pass on the parameter how many records that you would like to have so let's call this parameter as number of records numric and wherever you have written 10 you just need to replace them all with this part okay so here is what this is done all right now once you have this all created next thing which comes is calling this data so sorry calling this function so to call this function what i'll do is i'll just put the list first then i will call the function function is nothing but dummy data and inside that i can put number of times i want to sorry number of records that i want to create and after that this data frame syntax which i would like to put over here all right and here we will just see the shape how many records are going to be created here we go now you can see 100 records are created let's make it 200 now you see we have 200 if you want to have 500 records it will give you the 500 records if you want to have a view of this data let's say df dot head and you see you do this okay so you see the data is in the same structure so this is how you can create the fake data it's very simple i would just like you to do this at your own right and put that into the comment section if you face any challenge thank you very much for watching this video